are you going to be reunited with your friend? Yes, Mark Larson will be joining us. We are going to be talking about you. We're still just hammering on this gas price issue because it's a, it's a big one. So we'll, we'll discuss uh, possible solutions, what's perhaps going on. I'll play off your conversation with Mark, and we'll take it up with Senator Melissa Melendez at about 840. Same topic, gas, gas, gas. All right. All right. Sounds good. Well, today is National Vietnam War Veterans Day. Yes, Janie Lukowski is live at the USS Midway Museum with details on today's commemoration ceremony for Vietnam veterans. Good morning, Jenny. Hey, Jenny. Good morning to you both and good morning to you at home. Yeah, in just what, less, I don't have a watch on, but I think in under two hours, the ceremony will begin. Right behind Dave and I, you can kind of see the setup is underway. The stage is being set to honor our Vietnam War veterans. Dave Coons from the USS Midway, please tell us what we can expect to see today. Well, this is a very special day, and as you alluded to at the top of the hour, this is really a long time coming. Uh, it's only been in the last five years that this day, this, this recognition day, has been established nationally and throughout the country uh, for our Vietnam war veterans and uh, you know when a lot of these veterans came back from the war they were not treated very well so we think it's due time that they they are thanked and that, that a tribute is paid to them for the tremendous service and sacrifice that they uh, committed to our nation for over 20 years back from the 50s to the mid 70s uh, in Vietnam and a lot of veterans you know I see comments and hear them saying hey we don't need a thank you we did what we had to do however I think it's still in our part to do something like this and, and you're often going to find veterans say that, but but we'll, we'll discount that because they really do need to be thanked. Uh, these people, you know, they, they served their country, they swore to protect the people of this nation, and they went to a very, very, very difficult area, and they were there for many, many years. And it's, it's truly about time that we more publicly thank them for what they did. So what are we going to expect today? 10 o'clock, everything gets underway. So we're going to start it off. Hopefully the, the clouds will stay parted for us. We're going to have the Navy Leapfrog Precision uh, Parachute Team is going to jump in with the official uh, Vietnam Commemoration recogn or Veterans Recognition flag. We're going to have two incredible guest speakers, both who have a connection, uh, who are in Vietnam. One uh, who you spoke to a little earlier, Captain Jack Inch. And then we also have Stephanie Din, who was a 15-year-old refugee who was actually evacuated from Saigon right here to the flight deck of the, United, of the U.S. SS Midway to start her new life in the United States. And uh, we're going to then end it with a, a wreath laying ceremony to pay tribute to those veterans uh, that have passed since the war, as well as all the service members that, that died during the war. Okay, so, you know, obviously today is Vietnam War Veterans Day, so we want to talk to Mr. Bob Doc Werner here, who's getting ready for the camera. I want to say thank you for being here, first of all, and thank you for your service. Well, thank you. And I would do it again. It's what we all signed up for, it was uh, what our country needed. So I have to ask you, on a day like today where you're kind of inundated with thank you and we're honoring you, does it? how does it make you feel? Is this something that, you know, you, you want? Well, it's not so much that I want it. It's I feel, as Captain Hench and Dave uh, suggested earlier, when we come back, when a lot of us came back from Vietnam, uh, we were not uh, treated very well. And a lot of the stories people will say are apocryphal and didn't really happen, but I can testify that I was spat on and treated very poorly when I came back from Vietnam. Can we hear a little bit more about your story and your service? Well, I joined the Navy uh, at 16. I joined the Navy to see the world. I expected to be on a ship traveling the world, and the Navy in its infinite wisdom decided that I should be a corpsman, so I served with the Marines. Uh, on the ground in Vietnam uh, for not quite three tours of duty. And I would do it again in a heartbeat. How are you feeling right now? Well, I'm, I'm quite pleased that this has finally come to fruition, that we have been uh, finally, that all of the veterans of the Vietnam War, uh, two million plus, have finally been recognized for what we did for the company for the country, I'm sorry. And uh, it's not not so much selfless, but that's what we signed up to do uh, when we signed the paper to enlist. It's crazy to think that, you know, from 1955 to 1975, but it wasn't until 2017 that really officially the military holiday was signed into law. Yes, it's just since I've been aboard the Midway, I've been aboard for seven years as a volunteer, and 
it's just these years that I've seen the celebration and the recognition of the Vietnam veterans. So it, it, it's a pleasure, it's good to see, and it's my honor to be on the midway with all these fellow veterans, men like Jack Inch, Captain Inch, uh, who was a, a POW and other POWs in the Volunteer Corps. So before uh, we wrap it up, I just wanted to ask, you know, for people watching at home who would like to say thank you or honor veterans, how would you like them to do that? Well, I think simple thank you for your service that we get all the time uh, on board the ship and, and in public life. Uh, I think that's, that's all it needs. Just thank you for your service uh, and that would do it. That does it. Thank you, Bob. Bob Duff Warner, thank you so much. Again, everything starts at about 10 o'clock this morning. You can see setup is underway behind me at the USS Midway. We'll have more information throughout the morning, but again, free to the public, a ceremony to honor Vietnam War veterans today on this national holiday. Back to you. Hi, Jenny, thank you. Thank you, Jenny. A second booster shot for those over the age